it's uh, Terry. Hey guys, um, I said I wasn't gonna put more videos out like this, but um, I've been talking to a few people lately, and I well, I just wanted to address this to everyone who, for whatever reason, watches my videos. Um, you know, when you were younger, maybe you were told that uh, you could do anything you put your mind to. Uh, in today's society, the funny thing about that is, is I, I used to think it was just a, a thing that people said and they didn't really mean. And but when it, what I've realized is, is that there are a lot of reasons that things are going wrong in anyone's life, in any industry, in any situation. There's a lot of reasons why things are not going as well as they used to be, or as could be. Um, you know, we have a down market, you know, freight slide, this is that. So those are, are reasons that the numbers turn out the way that they do at times. However, society trying to be trying to be honest and fair like I always am but I'm trying to say it in a softer kinder way but it feels like sometimes it society wants you to be downtrodden they want you to fail they want you to be negative and so those reasons that are out there immediately turn to excuses and if we don't allow them to be excuses, okay, they're reasons, not a problem. Freight's, uh, freight's down everywhere, understood. The freight is down everywhere, therefore, that, that doesn't give me an excuse to not work hard, continue to say negative things like everyone else and to have, you know, and to make less money. No, if freight rates are down, Revenue is freight rate times mileage. And if just speaking about revenue, if I want my revenue to remain the same and freight rates go down, then if I'm complaining about it and I'm not looking at it, I'm not, you know, I use that as an excuse and that's okay for me to make less revenue. No, I can use it as a reason as to why I need to drive more miles. Because if I, my freight rate goes down, then I'm going to need to put more mileage in order to keep my revenue the same. Now, we're not talking about profit line. There's, there's different things with that. We're just talking about basic revenue. And because the correlation and the numbers are easier to just, you know, pinpoint in this example. But, you know, freight rate's down. You know, that's why I'm not, you know, not going to take that load because it's crap or it's not this, it's not that. You know, no, freight rate's down. Therefore, I've got to work harder. I was looking through the last couple of years through my uh, lost profit statements, and I was clearing, I mean, it's no, it's no secret. I don't really like throwing it out there now. It's, it's a little different person while you're climbing that hill, you know, but, um, you know, I was clearing over $20,000 a month profit. But when my rate was outstanding and high, you know, I was in certain areas, certain markets, and uh, you know, how I ran, I had 9,000 miles in a month, running all split breaks, things like that. Well, when the bottom fell out, next thing you know, broker freight is horrendous, and uh, I made a quick swap, went straight to company freight. You know, my profit margin, my profit was still the same, but uh, I ended up running 13,000 miles. And I had to put, you know, I had to put on at the time an additional 45% more miles. You know, I had to work 45% harder, quote unquote, by putting more miles on um, in order to continue my same uh, profit line, my margin, you know, now my, my revenue went higher, <laughs> um, but the profit line was thinner but I still made the same profit. And what I just wanted to share with you is that there are a lot of reasons that things happen. I don't disagree with them whatsoever. 
But don't let someone else's reasons turn into an excuse for you not to to do anything you put your mind to. If you set your mind, you set a goal, and you use those tools, and you, you do the very best that you can, breaking everything down every second, every day, and you push and strive towards something that you know is mathematically obtainable, because it's either A, been done, or B, you see how it can be done, then use the reasons that people give you as motivation and as tools to say, okay, you know, freight rates are down everywhere. Understood. I got to put on more miles. Then there comes the question, well, how do I do more miles? Ding, ding, ding. There will come an answer then once you filter through what it is that you're doing and you can improve on to how to get more miles. And therefore, you'll increase your revenue. So, uh, love and respect to every single one of you. I just, I, I know that I know that a lot of things get said and it just gets tossed around and you know what those reasons are important they're important to dissect they're important to take but they are not excuses and they are not defining of you all that is is when someone tells you a real reason as to why freight rate may be down or loads are thin in certain areas that's just information and we live off of it we love information because that makes us, that gives us an opportunity to, to navigate and let everyone else complain. Let everyone else use it as an excuse to why their money goes down. And you use it as a motivator and a leverage and as a part of your equation to rise above it. All right, love and respect. I hope you have a fantastic day.